This is fun cross country single track. Bike life with Rob. How hot was it at Nails and Erdenburn? Have you ever been to the Shangri-La campground and rode the Nails and Erdenburn trails? If you have, let us know what you think. Is it worth the trip down there? Last thing before we jump into things, be sure to check out the next video as I go over how to recover faster post-race and post-hard workouts with a couple of tips from Tom Brady. If you race or ride your bike a lot, you're not gonna wanna miss out. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking us out. We ride epic mountain bike trails, give out training tips, do bike related product reviews, record elite cross country mountain bike races, and other exciting bike stuff. The best way not to miss a thing is to click the subscribe button and the bell and that will ensure that you don't miss out. While we were in Florida, I used this person's YouTube channel to preview some of the trails down there. I'm gonna give him a shout out. His name, his channel, The Single Track Sampler. Be sure to check him out. The Single Track Sampler has amazing mountain bike content as well as van life content. If that toots your horn, be sure to check out his channel. I will have a link to his channel in the description. We start with a trail that takes you from the Shangri-La campground to either Nails North or South or Ernenburn. This is the start of the Nails South Trail that eventually loops back around by the others using the same trail or by going on Nails North, which is what I did. During your ride on all these trails, you will cross the Cross Florida Greenway Trail multiple times. That was that paved path you just seen. Be sure to look both ways as many of the cyclists traveling on that are going pretty darn fast. These trail systems are more fun than some of the other connecting trails in the area for cross-country riders. You'll get more routes, fun drops, and short little punchy climbs or step-ups to get back on track. If you know the trail, you can really rip. They also have this cool bridge that I'm guessing was made due to some kind of erosion issues. If so, kudos makes the trail more sustainable. Here's some footage of little drop sections that are really fun to break up the normal single track. If you're not from Florida, the vegetation here provides some nice visual stimulation. Definitely don't have things like this in Michigan. There were some sections of the trail that were hard to follow because of all the pine needles on the ground, covering up the trail, making it hard to follow, and it also made it slick in areas. I did have a couple of double tire slides in some areas as I was going quick around some of the corners. Getting back to the fun little roller coaster section drops on the Nails Trail. You can see here on the right, ooh, I missed a jump. That would have been fun to hit. Not even sure if I saw that while I was riding. Now on to Nails North. Nails North had some cool sections of flowing rollers, as you can see right here. Again, it would have been nice to know the trail, so as you're going, you can't see over the hill and where the trail turns, and that would have been kind of nice. I actually had to brake a few times and lock them up so I didn't go off the trail. Overall, the Nails Trail was a fun one, and I definitely would ride it again. I would plan on riding from Santos all the way out to Ernenburn and back. Speaking of Earn and Burn, this brings up a funny story regarding the sign stating that there's trail work going on. Between Nails and Earn and Burn, I ran into my family. It was very hot, about 87 degrees in late December, and for us that are from Michigan, that is really hot. They were under the bridge, and I spoke with them a little bit. They were on that cross greenway path. And I chatted with my wife, and she said that a hiker mentioned there was someone doing suspicious things in the woods, fixing up cement in the middle of nowhere. 
As soon as I saw the sign, I knew they were doing trail work. And it was very evident with the cars parked in the parking lot and the trailer was open. Not sure how he did not figure that out. Earn and Burn is pretty similar to Nails, except it's a little more scenic, has more technical riding, and has some really cool looking rock features. As you can see here, my bike leaned against that huge, cool, amazing rock. Here is a section with roots and rocks and small climbs. Again, not knowing the trail was a kind of a disadvantage and it would have been nice to know. I came over this hill here and thought the trail went off to the right right there, but actually it went to the left and the broken blue sign kind of confused me laying on the trail. And I didn't really get up. Uh, that hill there and it wrecked my flow. Oh well. A couple more cool wooden bridge features on the trail keep you guessing as to what may be coming next. I then ran into this guy who was doing a ride and I was just talking to him about the hot day. He actually came from Santos and had rode the whole way to the end of Ernenburn and now he was making his way back. Now that is a great training ride. He actually liked it both ways and I have to agree. I don't think one way is more significant than the other as far as more exciting. One thing I do remember and for everyone else to remember is that it is two-way traffic so be sure to look ahead especially if you're ripping it personally I don't like two-way trails but these are worth riding just keep your awareness up here I was approaching the end of the Ernenburn trail at the end or near the end there is a nice rock garden that you have to climb over to get out and over and then when you come back on the trail you have to climb back over it. I thought I hit my GoPro in time to catch the climb on the way back in but I didn't as you can see here. This was what it looked like and <laughs> here's the clip as I'm already on the rock garden making my way over it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you shredded nails and earn and burn? Do you want to go back? What trail do you like better between the two and why? Be sure to check out the next video as I unleash helpful tips to recover after hard workouts or a hard race. Some of which are courtesy of Tom Brady. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Watch another video from Florida by clicking on it. Thanks for watching.